Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of your cabin crew, we'd like to inform you that we have officially entered Florida airspace. Now that we're making our final descent, please watch this short message from Governor Ron DeSantis on COVID-19. Thereafter, everyone on board will be required to comply with the state's forever purge. We are not doing any vaccine passports in the state of Florida. We trust people to make their own decisions in the state. We are not going to be bludgeoning people with restrictions and mandates and lockdowns or any of that stuff. As Governor DeSantis stated, while you're within state lines, you do not have to wear a mask. You do not have to get a vaccine. It is against the law for private businesses or schools to mandate masks or vaccines. And you have the absolute right to infect whoever you want, whenever and wherever, with COVID-19. Thank you for traveling with us, and please, enjoy your forever purge. COVID-19 is surging again. This is the time to double down. The governor is doubling down. He says students shouldn't be forced to wear masks. If you are trying to lock people down, I'm going to stand in your way. Florida just requested 300 new ventilators. Hospitals are filling up here. There is evidence that children are making up much higher cases that are emerging. The numbers continue to rise across Florida. This fall, don't breathe. This is insane. The Forever Purge. Coming to a theater and live streaming networks near you. I'll try to keep this very brief and short. What you just saw there is a smear campaign ad trying to, you know, throw some dirt and discredit Governor of Florida. Ron DeSantis. The Antichrists are here. This is it. In this video, I want to explain to you what exactly what's going on and what you need to know. I'm not one of these people who are it's your choice type of people during this time because most people are talk about well if it's your choice it's your choice and if you want to take it then take it if you don't if you don't want to take it don't take it. i'm saying don't take it this is not the time to be playing in the middle because this is exactly how we got here these are the strategies used by the Antichrist to push these shenanigans through, these shenanigan legislative laws and regulations through. Oh, don't judge me. It's your choice. Well, you can do whatever you want just as long as it makes you happy. I am not going to play in the middle. I am not going to say, well, if it's your choice, you don't have to take it if you don't want to. Uh, if you want to take it, I am not going to pay in the middle. I'm saying, don't take it. In 2022, it would be nice for Governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, to win alongside Donald Trump. Because they are the ones that are fighting for your freedoms. They are the ones that are fighting against these antichrists, creating these ads, trying to run a smear campaign on them. Ah, oh, they're racists. They, 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 they're conspiracy conspiracy theorists. Ah, oh, they're, they, they, they extra, uh, 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 um, um, whatever. The mainstream media is. Mainstream media platforms like CNN, don't watch them. Don't listen to a thing they say. It's propaganda written all over. Do you know what CNN stands for? Communist News Network. I know that's not what it really stands for, but... 
just trying to just trying to make a point. All mainstream media platforms are commandeered by the Antichrist. This is not the time to be listening to mainstream media. Listen. I would like to reference the novel, the book, 1984, by George Orwell. It's a, it's a book uh, they, 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 they taught us, uh, they read to us in, in uh, high school, grade 11. It's absolutely monumental. It's absolutely of immense importance during these times. Now, I'd like to reference the Bible. Revelations, the book of Revelations, the final chapter in the book. What makes you think that these are not these? Uh, uh, we are not living in uh, the Revelations chapter. What makes you think that this is not the final chapter? The Re the book of Revelations. In a summary, in summary, it talks about a time where Antichrist will reach supreme government power and they will take over supreme government power and they will try to enslave the masses and they will start to do all sorts of all sorts of evilness and holy stuff demons will sprout out of the ground you will see dragons rise from the from the sea with seven heads with various types of faces animal faces breathing fire the seas will turn into a lake of fire and brimstone lava and demons will be roaming the earth blatantly and they will be corrupting people and there will be bloodshed everywhere this is the devil emerging from the ground from hell now Listen, now stay with me. Listen, the Bible talks about it in a, in a spiritual and or literal sense. Demons sprouting out of the ground, uh, 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 monsters from hell with seven heads, breathing fire with uh, brimstone. The Bible explains it in the most literal sense. That's what people are expecting. This is why people are so relaxed. This is why people, when you try to warn them, they say, ah, it's a conspiracy theorist. Ah, they try to, they always d uh, dismiss it as conspiracy theorists. You damn idiot. Look at the curriculums they're bringing, they're introducing in schools, educational in institutions, critical race theory, LBGCQ lessons in schools, trying to corrupt your kids. Trying to teach reversal gender dynamics, all this unholy stuff, extreme radical leftist equality and race sensitivity training in the workplace, and 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 not to mention these mandates. I don't want to say specific names because I don't want to. I want to stick to code names. Right? What makes you think that this isn't already happening? The Bible also talks about the mark of the beast. Triple six. The Antichrist will reach supreme government and they will trick people into to taking the mark of the beast. And the Bible says most people will fall for it. Bro in, in broad daylight. It's already happening right now. With 
the shots. But idiots, people with peanut-sized brains, talking about, oh, well, I, it, it, it was my decision. No, it wasn't. Anytime they put your job at stake, anytime they try to bribe you with your job, they say, no, no, ma no vax, no job. No mask, no entry. That's not freedom. That's them strong arming you into taking it, limiting your choices, backing you into a corner, and saying, take the mark of the beast, or else you can't work, or else you can't go to places, you can't go to gym, you can't go to restaurants. Do you think that's freedom? Do you think that's your, that's your choice? It is not. The numbers you're seeing on mainstream media TV, those deaths, those stats, 375,000 deaths uh, this month, it's all applied to scare you. And people are falling for it. Now here's my question. If this was really true, if you go outside your house, do you see people dropping dead Left, right, and center. No, you do not. So what does it tell you? They're busy running smear campaigns on Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. People are trying to fight for your freedoms. And when some of us are actually trying to tell you that don't take this, you brush it off as, ah, conspiracy theorists. You see, that's easy. This is what I call the great separation. The Lord will come and he will come to take his people, the ones that do not have the mark. And the ones that do have the mark will be left in a lake of fire and brimstone. I don't need I don't need you to like this. You don't have to like this. It doesn't have to make you feel comfortable. It's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. You don't have to like it. You have to know it. Sleepy Joe, that zombie sitting in the over White House, is the orchestrator of it all. What makes you think that Revelations isn't already happening? Right now. As in, right now. As in, right now as you're listening to, to me speak. Right now as you hear, as you're listening to this video. Right now. What makes you think that Revelations is, isn't already happening? What makes you think this isn't, this isn't time? It's happening right now. 